The work on engineering networks is going on intensively. Machinery has been added. You have seen it. There is work on landscaping of the lawn. The lawn sidewalk. Everything which was related to laying the heating pipeline on the outer side of the territory of Technopolis. It is work concerning landscaping. Such dynamics became possible thanks to receipt of investment funds, thanks to the lottery, the promotion. Such dynamics began. What I have said many times, these works and their intensity are directly connected with the intensity of the incoming funds. But in addition to that, we have another procedure which we spoke about in passing earlier. Now we don't mention it. It has to do with the documentation. Here I have documents, papers, that will be posted in the back office on Solar Group web resources. It is hardly worth it on our side. It is the practice and collected statistics which tells us about how much time the procedures take. The actual processing time from receipt of land permit to the permission of the state registration the period is of 725 days. This is to resolve all administrative issues. 725. But Technopolis and the Department of Investment and Industrial Policy are taking measures to reduce these time frames. And a green corridor has been developed to create an industrial facility. We are included in this green corridor, and the target deadline for this corridor should be 352 days. Registration of everything, decisions, permits, and everything else, minus 373 days. You will have that available, Solo Group should provide that. Here are the solutions to the optimization issues, the reduction of the time frame, this kind of spreadsheet, what and by how things will be reduced. The result is such a schedule, I would call it a network schedule, but well, now they call it a roadmap. It probably has to do with the fact that some people drive chips, some people drive Chrysler's, others Lexus's, and some people just ride a bike or electric scooter. That is why it is a map. But actually it is a network schedule. And those days are the time, excluding the time needed for construction. Such a schedule will also be published. All the actual stages to go through for anyone who decides to do projects like this one. The first stage is to obtain the land. The second one is the preliminary preparation. The third one, the development of project documentation. The fourth, preparation for construction. The fifth, construction and installation work. The sixth, the completion of construction and installation work. The seventh, commissioning. And the completion of the construction object means that we have built a box. After the construction work is completed, the commissioning permit is issued. What happens at this stage? 
installation of process equipment, adjustment, setting up, settling in, equipping workrooms. And only after that, getting the commissioning permit and then fine-tuning, that's clear. But if we move strictly according to the plan, then we have the seventh stage delayed. Because as soon as we moved the lab, when was it? I think it was in the winter. And we still haven't finished. So moving takes about a week. But it's going to take at least three months to set up, configure and put it all together, given the new realities. At least. So we are trying to combine the fifth, sixth and seventh stages. Therefore, in those rooms where technological equipment can be placed, we place it. Considering that the main technological equipment can only be set up and configured by us. That's why we do this work. As you could see in the videos, there are more and more such rooms. So everything is done in stages. I hope that everything is clear to everyone. You will study all of it. And we can move from illusion to reality. Because many people have an abstract idea of what it looks like. We talked about it. But there was no big picture. And when you look at the scale of the whole thing, how much energy and effort it takes, it becomes clear that it takes time to get to construction. So when they say to us, here you are building it for so many years, it took two years just to collect the permitting documents, provided how long it took to become residents of the special economic zone. And that's without taking into account the time it took to develop the project documentation, the business plan, the economic model, the network schedule, the roadmap, as you call it. Okay, whatever you call it. So it is a thousand days but we have passed a significant part of this time. Now we have the main task, which is the engineering networks. You have seen the mountains of earth in the videos and photos. But now they have disappeared because we are backfitting trenches and we can say that the main work of laying the main engineering networks has been completed. And now we are digging a trench on the right side of the building. It is laying utility sewers from the existing sewer system of Technopolis Moscow. The point of connection is the system which exists already, the one of Technopolis Moscow. I hope that next week we'll have first connection, so we can equip sanitary facilities and remove temporary trailers Yes, so sanitary facilities will be able to supply water to them. You know, the trailers will be removed from the site. Now the headquarters has been moved as well. And an office has been allocated for the team, which will work on improving the area. They will have an office outside the trailers. There won't be any trailers anymore. The area will be cleared out. Why? The stage of landscaping begins. We cannot do the whole volume straight away. It is a lot of work. But we will start doing it there where we can. 
All prepare the ground for asphalt, lay curbs, put sand, work with manholes. You have seen how many manholes there are. There is a huge number of them. This is due to the depth of laying utilities. And in the last turn, before laying asphalt, the shallow buried engineering networks have voltage cables, telemetry, lighting, video surveillance, telephony, and others will be done. And another communication, it is short, it is the route from the climate control unit to the building. So these are the large-scale works that we have to do first and foremost.